So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get some very good packs on FIFA for absolutely free. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. I feel like once everyone started their accounts on FIFA, the first thing to do is the advanced SBCs. And then there's kind of that limbo time. What do you do with your time? Well, I'm here to show you guys what to invest your time into. It's super simple and super easy. And this year, there's actually more than ever. It's the objectives, it's the milestones. And there's a lot of very good packs that you can get for absolutely free. And honestly, not that much of your time. I think that I wouldn't waste my 10 hours early access on it. But if you have the full game come 27th or the 1st, this is definitely something I would go with. So the first one is pretty easy. It's 10 squad battles gains for an 82 plus pack. I think that's pretty decent. It's pretty easy. You can also do 10 rival games for an 82 plus pack as well. That's also pretty easy. Um, we've also got a finishing mastery. Uh, for a rare players pack, you can finesse 100 goals, which you can do in conjunction with uh, the next one. And for a 100k pack, score 500 goals with a squad rating of 85 plus. Now, a lot of you guys might have starter teams and might be thinking, I can't get my team to 85 plus. Don't worry. Got you guys covered. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Um, and then for assist mastery, um, for getting 500 assists you get another 100k pack really really easy really like it's not it's not necessarily quick it did take me i would say about 12 or 13 squad battles games which is very long when you're playing big in a difficulty and just scoring loads of goals but i think it's worth it you do get some very good packs now the ones i've added in this year which i really like um is the bronze and silver squad milestones now you can do this against a friend in online friendly super easily um, and all you have to do is make a full bronze squad and play 15 games with you scoring one goal and your opponent, your friend, quitting the game. Super quick and super easy. Takes, honestly, about 20 minutes. And you get a 50k pack, a premium gold players pack, two red gold players pack, a small gold players pack, and a gold pack. The exact same for silver. You get the exact same rewards for another 20 minutes of your time. And you and your friend can literally just take it in turns, uh, you know, doing 15 games, scoring a goal, your friend backing out. It's really quick and really easy because it's any game mode. So you don't have to do it on a specific game mode. It's class. Now, one to look out for in the future is also first own rivals. Win 100 matches with at least seven first own players. This one, I think... I wouldn't look to do straight away because it's going to be quite hard to do 100 matches really quickly. Um, but as you go on FIFA, I reckon in about two or three months time, most of you guys will probably be looking at completing this, uh, having this done. And then who knows, a random promo's out and you just got a 50k and 100k pack. Just add it to your account because of a milestone you've completely forgotten about. Um, but it's super easy. Now, in terms of getting an 85 rated squad for the finishing and assisting mastery, uh, there's a lot of really quite high rated cards this year that are super cheap. Uh, the first one I'll go into is Chiellini. Um, and you guys can just put these players on your bench. Now, Chiellini is literally about 6,000 coins this year. He's super cheap, 86 rated. Uh, I know Luis Suarez, who's an 87, is actually, or an 88, sorry, he's actually super cheap nowadays as well. Um, he's about 10,000, 11,000 coins for an 88 rated card. Again, put him on your bench. You don't even need to use him and you get a super high rated card right there. Um, you know, there's a few other players. You've got the likes of Tony Cruz, who's quite cheap as well. Um, just kind of high rated cards that most of you would consider fodder when doing SBCs in FIFA 21, for example. Right now, there's no SBCs coming out. So people don't need fodder. So these cards are absolutely in the absolute floor. I mean, if you guys got a little bit extra coins for 20,000 coins, you can get Harry Kane and that's going to up your squad rating a lot. So just something to bear in mind, something pretty easy. Uh, but in terms of the free packs, we obviously have them to open now as well. Um, for about, I would say, four or five hours of my time split across two days, we've got ourselves two 100k packs with guaranteed 84 plus or higher, a rare players pack, and an 82 plus pack. So let's open the 82 plus pack first, uh, as it's the, the worst out of the packs, and we'll see if we get something decent. It is not a board, sadly, but it's going to be Spanish, right wing, Ferran Torres. Okay. Not great. I am looking at all of these packs as if I was doing them on my RTG, because I do have an RTG this year, um, and I am going to be doing these packs on the RTG. So I'm going to be um, analysing these packs as if I was doing them on the RTG. So, you know, I'll be analysing whether I thought they were worth the time or not based on that. So we've got our first 50k pack, and for, like I said, for an extra 40 minutes, you get an extra two 50k packs and some really good packs. Oh, I thought that was Kyle Walker. If that was Kyle Walker, that would have been absolutely insane. All right, 84 Trippier. There could be something good dangling in there. Oh, I thought that was Kyle Walker. That would have been class. And Angelica Kyle Walker would have been absolutely fantastic. Um, eh, I mean, it's not ideal, is it? It's not It's not the best. But you've got some nice 83 cards. I think we're going to start getting some SBCs in the next sort of like week to 10 days. I think that's when we'll start to see some. You know, we've got the, um, the Antonio Player of the Month SBC coming soon as well. Um, I obviously have these untradeable, so I'm just going to, uh, sorry, duplicate, so I'm going to swap these over. In terms of the 50k pack, 
It's not ideal, but at the same time, you've got about eight players rated 80 or higher for future SBCs if you need them. You've got a few 83s and 84s. Not too bad uh, for the future. Now, we've got our first 100k pack. My first 100k pack of FIFA 22 as well. The first one I'm opening. The guaranteed 84+. plus. There's at least one player in there that's guaranteed 84+. plus. So, you've got at least a board. Can we get a walkout? First 100k pack. Here we go. It is a walkout. Who we got? English striker, JB Vardy. Not bad. I'll take that. If I was running a Prem team on an RTG, that's class because he's a decent card. So we do get a walkout on our first 100k pack. I'm happy with that. That's not a bad. That's not a bad start at all. Could be some decent danglers in there as well. What else have we got in that pack? Ooh, I'll tell you what. That's not bad. You got Vardy and Manolas, Rudiger, Muriel. You got some nice players here, to be honest. I mean... You know, you've got only one walkout and then a few boards. But in terms of price-wise, you've got Rudy who's about 10k. Vardy is probably about 15. Is Manlas worth anything? Yeah, Manlas about 7, 8k as well. Not bad. Then you've got, obviously, fodder players as well. Munayin might be worth a little bit. I don't think he's worth much, but he might be worth a little bit. Um, you've got a Campos, who's a decent fodder player. Muriel, who's a good starter player. I don't know if he's worth a whole lot. He's worth about 2, 2.5k, but he's a good starter player. Diaby's a good starter player as well. Um, and also, if you've not already done your advanced SBCs, some of these players' first owner might help you massively with doing that as well, because that is an absolute ache, trying to get... Uh, chemistry on some of the ones that require loyalty so instead of going and quitting 10 games you might be able to get loyalty just by doing these which is sick and the last 100k pack can we get another walkout ea please can we get a walkout in our second 100k pack back to back would be the dream here we go not a walkout it's a board it's gonna be croatian cdm brozovic 84 the bare minimum you can get in this pack not a good start hopefully you know a joe gomez you know, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of decent 83s and 84s. Joe Gomez, Alfonso Davies. I mean, Lacroix would be decent. St. Justo would be decent as well. Um, what else is in there that could be decent? I'm sure there's some decent 83s and 84s that could be good danglers. We'll see. Hopefully one of them is in this pack. What we got? Uh, Zlatan. Mateus Cunha is okay. Uh, anything else? Not ideal. I mean, again, if you're running RTG in your very early days, it's not the, uh, the worst pack in the world because you've got some decent plays with decent links there, but not ideal, is it? To wrap this video up, I've gone and built a few uh, two egg old players packs now. Yesterday, EA actually uh, sort of changed the price ranges before gold non rares were 650 minimum and 600 minimum, and now they're back down to 350, 400 minimum. So you can pick up gold non rares on bid for like 350 coins, 300 coins, 400 coins. Um, and it makes the gold upgrades a lot cheaper. And I do believe in the gold upgrades. I think gold upgrades are definitely uh, a way to spend a few coins or players if you are, uh, if you have them free, so you have them spare. I think it's a good way to spend them because. A lot of the time, you get some decent pulls in these. And if you don't get anything amazing, you're still getting some boards. It obviously is massively based on pack luck. And if I, don't, I wouldn't recommend spending every coin you have on gold upgrades. But I think it's decent to just spend a few coins on here or there. And, and you know, try your luck. I do it on my RTG a lot. I think trying your luck is something... That's very ingrained in FIFA. I think FIFA is very much a try your luck kind of game. I think it's like a very much go for it. See if you can get something decent because it could change everything kind of game. Um, which is why I'm always like that. Uh, and if you don't get a board or a walkout, you never know. A St. Just a Lacroix or a Klosterman could be around the corner and they're all also very OP as we know. So, we've got three left. Can we get a walkout, EA? That is a question. No board in the next one. It's going to be Spanish centre-back Mario Hermoso. He's actually class, by the way. Give him a go. I know he's cheap. I know he might not look like the best player in the world to you guys, but he's actually class. Big fan of Mario Hermoso and David Neres, who might be worth a little bit, actually. Uh, wow, 6k. There you go. Just my gold upgrade. We'll take that. Made about 200 coins profit on that gold upgrade. So we take that. All right, second to last pack is going to be a non board again. Canadian. Ah, hey, Richarlison, though. That's not bad again. I think he's worth a little bit still, like 6, 7k. We'll take that. I want Canadian for Alfonso Davies, obviously. But yeah, Richarlison's solid. All right, he's worth about 3, 3.5k these days. But we'll still take that. That's not bad at all. And then the last gold upgrade and the last pack of this video. By the way, if you guys have enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. That would be greatly appreciated. We are ending off with a Czech Republican, uh, Czech Republican Sushek. Could be something decent. He is 82. There could be something behind that. There is not. Rodrigo. I guess if you're rocking a Prem team, that's actually pretty good. I think Rodrigo and uh, Sushek is pretty decent if you're rocking a Prem team on like a, a very fresh account. So thank you all for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. And I'll see you lads later.